Oh, I'm gonna die. Wait, frick. Why am I still on the floor? Get us. Do so much damage. That's actually so What in the world? Are you kidding me? This is so winnable. Hi everyone, this is how I beat Breakin in Hardcore. If you want to try, get 10 badges and then go here to equip the guest class. For those who don't know, Hardcore is difficult because you start with very low energy and you lose more energy from everything. Also, medics cannot heal you. Before we get started, we need to know the most dangerous thing in the game. Out of these four hostile things, which do you think is the most dangerous? You might think it's the Egg or Scary Larry, but it's actually the Purger. Purgers are the worst because you can't avoid their attacks. Even though the Egg and Scary Larry can do big damage, you can at least dodge them. That's why a lot of the tips in this video will be geared toward avoiding these guys. You know what they say, Stranger Danger, or in this case, Purger Danger. The best way to defend yourself is to either completely avoid them or to have someone else fight for you. That's why it's especially important to play with people. Or better yet, a friend who knows what they're doing. Let's talk about the events leading up to the boss fights. Before the egg fight, I was able to play solo with random players. I got the typical things from the house, unlocked the basement door, and checked in on Crazy Uncle Pete. One crucial thing you should do as you're checking the drawers is to claim a bed. Claim the bed furthest away from the windows so that during the night, the purgers will chase your roommates. Obviously, this won't work if someone already claimed the furthest bed, or if you have no roommates. That's why I immediately claim this bed in the blue room, because it's the first room you see, so most people will go there. But if you can't do that, you should be fine with the second furthest bed as long as there's another person closer to the windows. And if that doesn't work, just try this in another room. Afterwards, I checked the prices in the store, and then it was evening. I didn't trust anyone to make pies together, so I ate my pizza, apples, and cookies, and saved the Bloxy Cola because of its speed boost, which is helpful in the boss fight. I watch TV and head to bed, just like your typical night. Imagine you're asleep, when all of a sudden, a big scary purger breaks into your room. Now, other than suing him for Robux, how do you handle the situation? Do you A, fight? B, scream, run, and hide, or C, stay in bed. If you could do C, that's awesome. But the correct answer here is B. In other words, have someone else solve your problems. Assuming you have roommates who chose choice A, you should back up. But one benefit to fighting is to collect the 10 bucks each purger drops. So if I have enough energy, I wait until the purger's health gets low before running in to strike the last blow. You'll get hit once or twice, but it's sure worth the money. If you have no roommates and your room gets broken in, your best bet is to fight them. Trust me, you cannot run away. Oh, come on. I run. Oh, shoot. No. Are you kidding me? That's all oh, crap. Wait, that's actually so bad. Oh, crud, 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 crud. Wait, I'm gonna die. Wait, frick. No way. <laughs> After surviving the first night, barricading all entrances, unlocking the basement, looting the basement, unlocking the safe, surviving the second night, and sneaking past Scary Larry, you come to the basement. Now, at this point, you may only have a few people left. You need people to protect you during the last night and the Scary Larry fight. So instead of running away, you should help your teammates. I only did this when I had very high energy. Otherwise, I used the old tactic of running in for the last blow. That way, you help your teammates and get some money. Once you wake up and run to the store without tripping on the ice, immediately buy the super heal. If you can't, the bag of chips is still good. They both give you a lot of energy, but the super heal can heal you faster. If you can't get either of them, get cookies or Bloxy Cola because they'll at least give you some energy. The egg fight is actually doable without buying anything because it's possible to dodge all of the egg's attacks. But that's insanely difficult to pull off, so I recommend buying something from the store. To unlock the egg fight, be sure to collect three of these ice cubes and hand them to Chili Charlie. Once you head back inside and open the door for the pizza boss, take the pizza and either use the ladder trick from my previous video or just have the pizza boss chase your teammates. Now is probably a good time to tell you how I eat my food. I like to get my energy up as high as I can, so I eat all of my food until I reach the max. I do this because I deal less damage when my energy is low. 
I save my Bloxy Colas and Sludge Pies because they give me a quick short speed boost to help me run away from danger. After you finish off the pizza boss when he's dizzy, survive the last night, and enter the portal, we finally arrive at the egg fight. The egg fight has three stages. During the first stage, you must dodge lines of exploding bricks. Typically, you lose 20 energy from the explosions, but in hardcore, you lose 100. Did I also mention instead of one line, there are three? If you get hit once, you need to what? heal as fast Dude. as you can, or else you'll end up like me. Your best move is to stay near the center. The lines of exploding bricks will start by the walls, which will give you enough time to dodge the explosion. Afterwards, whack away the egg's first okay, heart, good, good. and be ready for the right, next the stage. The During the second stage, you must climb up four rock pillars. The first difference from the normal stage is that these pillars will be bobbing up and down as if they're floating in lava. I don't have much advice here other than practice obbies. The second difference is the lava will leave behind way more pools of lava. This doesn't affect normal players since they only have one. But for the hardcore player, there are five. Once you yoke off the egg's second heart, you arrive at the last stage. The last stage is similar to the first one. The egg barrel rolls across the map and ricochets off the walls. Your best move again is to stay near the center and away from the walls. If you're by a wall, you could dodge the first roll, but then immediately get rick rolled, rolled over as the egg ricochets off. If you survive this final stage, give the egg some good smacks and leave it scrambled or frozen in this case, Congratulations then, you beat the egg in hardcore. Now let's talk about the events leading up to the Scary Larry fight. A lot of these next tips will be geared toward collaborating with the friend, so be sure to ask your friend or a competent player for help. Ask your friend to play the protector role because your friend will literally be protecting you the whole game. Other roles like the medic are obsolete because they cannot heal hardcore players. When the game starts, claim the fed furthest away from the window in any room. Instead of relying on random players, we can rely on your friend to join your room. In my case, my friend and I took the green room. You'll notice my friend and I also saved our food because we planned to make pies later. Once we ate our pizza and watched TV, we prepared for the first night. If a perjure breaks in, your friend must protect you while you stay back. If you have energy to spare, then you can run in to strike the last blow and earn 10 bucks. After the first night, you know the drill. The only difference this time is your friend should open the safe so that they may earn more money if the safe contains money, and then bring the ladder up the attic. If there's a pie dish up there, then hooray! Start baking as many pies as you can, using the recipes of course. If not, you can buy a pie dish in the store. After baking a pie, surviving the second night, baking another pie while sneaking past Scary Larry, surviving the basement break-ins, with your good old friend protecting you as you run in for the last swing, sleeping, and then running to the store, now you're at the store. Instead of you buying the super heal, your friend should buy it because they will lose more energy while protecting you. On top of that, super heals are the only items other players can use to heal hardcore players. If you ever need a heal, you can always ask your friend with the super heal. For you on the other hand, the bag of chips is your best purchase. You also want to save 20 bucks to later buy an expired Watsy Cola. Don't worry if you run out of money after your purchase because there's a good chance two purgers carrying 20 bucks will break in during your last night. And it won't be us crying this time. After running to the store, baking another pie, fighting the pizza boss, eating his pizza, surviving the last night in hopes of stealing 20 bucks, baking one last pie, running to the sewers, and parkouring through the sewers while buying expired blocks of cola, make sure you drink it before making this jump or else you're gonna miss, you come face to face with Scary Larry. Scary Larry has three hearts, and for each heart, there are two stages. For the first stage, either spikes will appear out of the ground or Scary Larry will send three purgers to attack you. For the second stage, Scary Larry will use his infamous spinny thing like a tornado to attack you. The only differences in hardcore are there are more spikes, these spikes will come much faster, and you can't see Scary Larry's path. Also, you lose more energy with them. The expired Bloxy Cola is crucial here because of its permanent speed boost you'll be able to more quickly dodge the spikes and the scary Larry. For the spike stage, do your best to dodge and be aware of this short grace period when it seems like the spikes stop. Keep dodging until a scary Larry comes down from his tower. For the stage with the three purgers, it's just like any other night. Ask your friend to fight on your behalf. If you have energy to spare, you may fight alongside your friend. If you didn't see the food advice I gave before the egg fight, allow me to reinform those who may have skipped over it. 
I like to get my energy up as high as I can, so I eat all of my food until I reach the max. I do this because I deal less damage when my energy is low. I save my Bloxy Colas and Sludge Pies because they give me a quick short speed boost to help me run away from danger. For the second stage where Scary Larry spins, you see me move left and right more quickly. I do this to confuse Scary Larry because he will guess where you run to to run into you. Try to move unpredictably. If you could do all of that and wind down on all three of Scary Larry's hearts, then congratulations, you just beat break in in hardcore. On the personal note, I want to thank my friend again for helping me out. We both won with full energy, so we could have beaten hardcore with the evil ending, which would have been the ultimate flex. But we spent too much time deciding who would pick up the cane, so... Oh well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you out, and I'll catch you later. See ya.